Hi there. In the entire history of mankind, millions of people have won at the casino. Some have done it beautifully, and some have not. Some have won mere pennies, and some millions. Some won legally, while others resorted to scams. But it's no secret that in gambling, the odds will always be in the house's favor. All the odds are calculated with perfect accuracy so that the casino will never be in the red. At least, that's what everyone thought. Until the moment that this person appeared in one of the casinos in Madrid. But before watching this video, it is worth mentioning that gambling is not the best way to get rich, because often casino visitors are left without their hard-earned money. And you should always keep that in mind. The man who will be discussed today did everything in the best possible way. He won beautifully, and most importantly, a lot. But more importantly than that, he did it absolutely legally. And the name of an ordinary pensioner from Spain, Gonzalo Garcia Palayo, has gone down in history forever because it is he who is considered the bane of all casinos, and many even call him a legend. So how did he do that? I'm going to tell you. Gonzalo was born on May 25th, 1947, and in his youth he fell in love with mathematics. Of course, he was not a genius, he grew up as an ordinary boy, but he always had an affinity for the sciences. The Spaniard spent the first part of his life quite modestly. He received a mathematical education, but did not use his skills until a later age. Gonzalo worked as a sound engineer and producer, and in general led a normal lifestyle. He had a beloved wife and five sons. Life went on, and most likely the man was happy with everything. But one day, everything changed. And it's not known what exactly happened. Some say that his eldest son lost a lot and owed a large sum, and his father decided to restore justice. Others that Gonzalo just wanted to teach a lesson to the system, and he just had a sporting interest. Still others claim that he had hatched his plan for several years. But be that as it may, in the early 90s, the whole world came to know about this ordinary man. At first glance, it seems that the game of roulette is a set of coincidences. A ball thrown into a spinning drum takes one of 38 possible positions. The human factor, as in poker, is excluded. However, Gondalo did not think so. Having a mathematical mindset, he saw the world around him differently. Things that were commonplace for us, Gonzalo always projected into formulas and calculations, and he was sure that the randomness was not accidental. The only question was how to pick up this key. The story originates in one of the casinos in Madrid. Gonzalo became his regular customer, but no one saw the man in a game. He just took his favorite drink and watched the croupier for a long time. According to the usual mathematical calculations, each number should have popped up, on average, the same number of times. But as he thought, it was not so simple. Observations did not agree with calculations. Some numbers fell out more often, while others were extremely rare. However, the information that he already had did not give him the opportunity to win. But Gonzalo did not stop. Using his education, he set himself the goal to create an ideal system. Initially, he worked on his own. He visited the casino, kept records, and in the evenings made calculations, starting with the number of throws and ending with all sorts of other factors. But he did not succeed. Each subsequent calculation was doomed to failure. Then, the man decided that for a detailed analysis, he had too little initial data. In addition, the casino security service started to monitor him more closely, and so he utilized all of his resources. All five of his sons, who had already become adults by that time, became his eyes and helped their father. The Garcia Palayo family came to the casino and recorded the spots in which the ball stopped. One son recorded the results of one table, and the other the results of another, so the amount of information received increased exactly five times. His idea was extremely simple, but he still could not get to the bottom of the truth. Gonzalo was firmly convinced that everything has its own pattern. The main thing is to understand it. But our hero was not only a mathematician, he was able to develop an incredible observation in himself. When Gonzalo realized that the calculations and the real results didn't agree, he began to look closely at the roulettes. In the end, the mathematician found the answer. He noted that the shiny surface of the roulette wheel reflects light unevenly. From the glare, he calculated an approximate slope. To identify unstable rotation, it was necessary to count the speed. If the roulette wheel made a different number of turns left than right, then the drum was defective. He also realized that any roulette is primarily a device that a person made, and therefore, like any other mechanism, it contains some physical defects that were received at the production stage. So, for example, he found that even a deviation in tilt of one millimeter due to uneven floor coverage in the balance of the roulette wheel can produce some random numbers more often than others. After collecting statistics, it was possible to determine those very lucky numbers. With the help of his large family, he collected information for each individual roulette 
and then transferred them to the tables that he prepared at home, and then to a computer program, which he himself developed. As will be established later, in total, the mathematician recorded more than 10,000 spins. And for all this, he took a year and a half and needed five people on his team. And yet, he got to the truth. Having downloaded the data into a computer, he found several sectors in which the ball really stopped moving much more often than other sectors. The theoretical part of the work was almost completed. It only remained to develop an ideal system that would give the greatest advantage when playing. And it didn't take much more time. The main task of collecting information was already in his hands. He determined how many throws on each reel he needed to fix. Further, he took into account the amount of the bet and the chances of winning. It's hard to even imagine the amount of time and effort spent in order to conduct all of this analysis. But Gonzalo was simply burning with his idea, and within a few days he had on hand a strategy according to which, when playing roulette, he would have initially a mathematical advantage over the house of 15%. It doesn't seem like much, but it's actually a very big advantage. Further, it was only a matter of implementation. The mathematician began his game in late 1991. That day, he entered the Casino de Madrid as a middle-class man and left there a richer man. No, he didn't win a million. The Spaniard's first win was very modest, only 600 euros in terms of current money. The bottom line was that the strategy worked, which meant that everything was still ahead. And the very next day, Gonzalo won several thousand. The story repeated the next day, and the next day too. Together with his family, he regularly visited the Casino de Madrid, one of the largest and most advanced casinos of the time, which successfully exists today, and used the weaknesses of the roulettes installed there. The casino staff, security service, and even gambling specialists called to help carefully watch Gonzalo, but they couldn't understand his secret. It seemed nothing unusual. The client doesn't break any rules or anything like that, but always wins. Of course, the casino bosses were not going to endure humiliation for very long, and after some time, they simply stopped letting him into the casino. At this point, he had already stripped them of several hundred thousand dollars. But the mathematician was not upset at all when he found out about his exclusion from the ranks of visitors. He decided to attack new casinos in Las Vegas and Europe, where he could already play big. But before he left for Las Vegas, he sued the Casino de Madrid. And looking ahead, I will say that a few years later, he still forced them to pay him for emotional distress. Together with family members, he traveled half the world. He played in Las Vegas, Australia, Austria, Denmark, and the Netherlands, winning a total of about one and a half million dollars. Perhaps someone will say that's not that much, but this is only the official data that's been announced. Experts say that by the most conservative standards, the Garcia Palayo family was able to provide itself with several tens of millions of dollars. The fact is that many casinos didn't want to admit it because they didn't want to tarnish the reputation. And some simply didn't know, because by that time he was still a dark horse and no one knew either him personally or his sons in person. But sooner or later, all secrets become apparent. Over time, the Gonzalo scheme did not go unnoticed. The mathematician was even set up for surveillance. The security services of large network casinos monitored every step of the family so that they could not beat other institutions or hire special people for it. In the mid-90s, deceived casinos filed a lawsuit against the mathematician, demanding that he return the money. Because as they read it, it was a fraud, and they demanded the imprisonment of the swindler. They were just sure that they were right. The lawsuits against Gonzalo Garcia Palayo lasted more than 10 years. When the lawsuits finally ended in 2004, it caused smiles and bewilderment on the faces of thousands of people. Because the trial was quite loud and ended in victory for the mathematician. The Spanish court issued a decision not subject to appeal. Moreover, the judge advised the owners of the casino to better monitor their equipment. Gonzalo was not recognized as a fraudster as the prosecutors had wanted. The money won was left entirely with the former sound engineer. The rich experience of roulette calculations and hours spent in the casino became an excellent experience for Gonzalo. Together with his children, he opened a gambling analysis agency. He's often invited by the most famous networks for his consultations. As of now, he's conducting an expert assessment of virtual casinos. Thus, an ordinary mathematician gained great fame. The history of his family's exploits inspired writers and directors. In 2003, the book The Great History of Palayo was published in Spain. In 2012, director Edward Cortez made a film called The Palayos. On these projects alone, he was able to earn several million more dollars. As for modern roulettes, it is not so easy to beat them anymore. 
The quality of drums, baffles, jumpers, and even balls has grown significantly, which means that defects are much less common. It was after the Spaniard that the casino requirements for manufacturers were tightened. You could say he turned the entire industry upside down. As Gonzalo himself told, giving an interview to one of the journalists, everything in this world has its own unique forms, flaws, and errors. And it's only a matter of time how long it takes to observe. Even your actions have their own periodicity. The main thing is to understand what event preceded this. And such is the story of an ordinary mathematician who became famous throughout the world as a person whom all casinos were afraid of. So what do you think of his strategy and history as a whole? Be sure to write your opinion down in the comments below and don't forget to like if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.